in servanthood we can stand together as one but if there's no servanthood spirit forget about being together as one never either I went to a better school I've got better car I've got better hair saloon I've got better dress this is not unity this is not servanthood we are not all the same but we are commanded to love we are commanded to be one There's a lot that the church ought to learn. We come to church saying, who got this? I've got this. What? No, this is God's house. And let me tell you one thing. God is no respecter of persons. Nothing. What is it that you have that you did not receive from God? That should humble you? What is it? Everything you have is a gift from God. Your very life that you are breathing is a gift from God. So, I don't know why we this, that, this, there's so much talk that is irrelevant. It does not build. It doesn't. And because of that, others cannot join us. They can't. Sometimes, even in church itself, fear. Yeah. Look, Jesus Christ says, I'm going to die. I'm going to Jerusalem. You disciples, come along with me. I'm going to die. And he's going. He wasn't sorrowful. He was just going, let me go and die. He looks behind. They are fighting. Why are you fighting? Say, Who will take over your ministry? No one was sorrowful for him. No. Here they were saying he should die quickly. This one. But who take over? Somebody said, it's me. It's me. They were fighting. Uh, Jesus had to bring a small child. He says, this is like, leadership is like this. The least of you, the servant of you, is the one to lead. Now, no one wanted to come down. They all wanted to be. That's a problem. Even in church now. We could have grown if it were living just by love. Just loving. Uh, Johann Zebek was going to be small. Because people don't love. And God is love. You say it. God is love. What and what about you, the child of God? Why can't you not love? 